In March of 2021, the Ever Given, the massive container ship that blocked the Suez Canal, caught the world's attention after a grounding incident which caused the delay of hundreds of ships plying the trade route between Asia and Europe. It was eventually dislodged after almost a week of being stuck, but was then subsequently detained by Egyptian authorities for about three months until all the issues were resolved. Now, almost a year after the Suez Canal fiasco, its sister ship, the Ever Forward, ran aground on the 13th of March, and this time near the U.S. capital. The Hong Kong flagged ship, owned and operated by Evergreen Marine, was grounded after departing the port of Baltimore. The 334-meter vessel was en route to Norfolk, Virginia, when it got stuck in the Chesapeake Bay. Luckily, the grounding incident is not preventing other ships from transiting to and from the port of Baltimore, as the Ever Forward is located outside the main shipping channel and there are no reports of injuries, pollution, or damage to the vessel as a result of the grounding. However, the Coast Guard has enforced a 500-yard safety zone, and vessels in the vicinity are required to transit at a reduced speed. A team of technical experts has already boarded the ship on Monday and Tuesday to evaluate its condition, but the forecast is that it will be a long and difficult salvage operation as the projection is that the evergreen ship is deep in the mud and would likely require a lightning operation, which means some of the cargo will need to be removed before the ship will be freed. As per reports cited by cargo claims consultant W.K. Webster, the vessel strayed from the narrow fairway of the Chesapeake Bay during its outward passage from Baltimore and is likely to have grounded in shallow water on a predominantly muddy bottom. The vessel's draft at the time of departure from Baltimore is reported to have been 13 meters, whereas the average depth of the bay is approximately 6.4 meters only. That actually sounds really bad, but thanks to a drone footage taken by Ken Cold, we could see that the forward draft is at 11 meters. It's still a bad situation, but not as bad as the initial number suggested. Meanwhile, the U.S. Coast Guard remains on scene and in coordination with the vessel's owners as the appointed salvage team is working on a recovery plan. The Coast Guard has also required the crew to conduct soundings of all tanks, bilges, and void spaces at four-hour intervals. This is pretty much standard procedure during a grounding incident in order to monitor any noticeable changes as hull breaches will let in water which will affect the ship's stability or in the case of fuel tanks can cause pollution. Officials have not yet determined what caused the Ever Forward to run aground and investigations are underway but a marine weather statement was issued on March 12 by the National Weather Service, warning that blowout tides would be likely throughout Sunday afternoon and that mariners should check navigation charts and be careful not to ground your vessel, particularly when boating away from the main channel. The Coast Guard could not yet comment whether or not this played a role in the grounding. In any case, a salvage team, naval architects, and divers are working to determine the best course of action to free the vessel, but at present, there's not a lot of tug activity around it, so it would seem that refloating the ship would likely take several days, maybe even more. Now, as per my personal experience, I've been on board one ship, this was about 15, 16 years ago, which got grounded on mud. If I remember correctly, this was in Suriname, and our ship was about to enter the river, when suddenly we stopped moving. We weren't assisted by tugs, but we did have to wait for like two days for the high tide. And once it came, the water became deeper, and with just a few kicks of the engine, our ship managed to get free of the mud. 
Now, I'm not saying that the same thing will happen to the ever forward. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. In any case, I'll be monitoring the situation and give you guys an update as soon as developments occur. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next episode.